While these all-terrain tires make you sacrifice some comfort on road, their adaptability to various terrains really make up for it. And that's because they are built tough. BFG says it's their toughest tire ever. But how would it perform against the Falcon Wild Peak 83W? Well, to answer this, we have to dig deep into their designs. But first, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and also visit comparethetire.com to check out all the other comparisons including this one. Usually, all trained tires are made out of two high strength steel belts with two layers of polyester which is then wrapped with two plies of nylon. But in the BFG KO2, it has three ply polyester construction instead of two. So they are very durable. The tire survived the drop of 10,000 feet and the test really showed how tough these tires can truly be. Maybe one day we can perform the same test for you guys with your support. So hit that like button. The Falcon Wild Peak follows the same usual trend of inner construction, but here you get two extra layers of polyamide running around the tire's rim. So this means that you actually get a four layer sidewall construction instead of three layers we see in KO2. So it's better able to protect against the most vulnerable part of the tire, the sidewalls. Basically, you get an overall tougher design with KO2, but still protective sides with Falcon Wild Peak. Speaking of sides, KO2 offers you with more aggressive shoulders in comparison. Both weirdly shaped shoulder blocks have deep cuts in them, and they both join together and paste a lug on the sidewalls making a sharp edge in between. These lugs act as traction scoops and let the tire escape even when air down deep in mud. On the other hand, the Falcon Wild Peak has varying width shoulder blocks. They are not staggered but have sharp edges on the outer sides, while their inner sides have notches and stepped edges. But overall, they are still less aggressive compared to KO2. That's because in KO2, you see multiple variations of deep cuts, allowing this tire to shed more dirt out of its way while the bold stone injectors combined with the triangular ones that are strategically placed between the thread blocks expel more debris that would otherwise lodge itself in between. But mud is all train tires biggest enemy. And having said that, Falcon Wild Peak still gives a hard time here. It may not have wider grooves like the KO2, but they sure are deep. In fact, they are 1.6 mm deeper on average. So with this, the tire is able to take on some mud as it passes through the deep voids. In the middle, on Falcon Wild Peak, there are prominent Z-shaped blocks which show sharp edges and are further surrounded by others with incisions in them. As you can see, these surrounding C-shaped blocks have cuts facing in all directions, allowing this tire to grip from all sides. The siping here is also a little different than the shoulders, but they are still deep and very efficient. On the other side, with KO2, the tire shows similar looking blocks all over its thread. They are arranged in interlocking fashion, and you'll note that this tire doesn't really have any proper lateral or circumferential grooves. And instead, the tire simply makes a web of these grooves going every which way. All thread blocks are also marked with zigzag sipes and they go all the way deep, down to its thread base, giving these blocks more room to wiggle and squirm, especially off-road. They also allow this tire to have more thread life, as with deeper sipes, the tire's wear won't lose its traction values. So how do these tires perform on road? Well, with KO2's aggressive design, the tire offers less area in contact with the road. With the wider grooves, the overall grip is compromised. So Falcon Wild Peak, with its more compact blocks, especially in the shoulders, provide better handling times in both wet and dry roads. Why shoulders? Well, because when it comes to cornering, the tire sides come into action, and KO2 with its boulder stone injectors doesn't allow great contact in comparison. But things get a little different off 
off-road. With 3D sipes on its hook-shaped blocks, the BFG KO2 easily crawls its way through mud, rocks, dirt, gravel, you name it. In mud, the sharp sidewall lugs allow the tire to get out of any tough situation. On rocks, with uniform interlocking blocks, the tire creates a grip in all directions. On gravel, the tire's boulder stone injectors make it one of the best performers. On the other hand, things are also great with Falcon Valve, especially on rocky terrains. The notches and stepped edges of all blocks simply allows this tire to perform better on an inclined traction test. The deeper thread also allowed the blocks to move more independently, and this combined with its softer material, the thread produces a sticky effect with the rocks, enhancing overall grip. On the other side, KO2 with its stiffer sidewalls lags a little behind on rocky trains. But still, overall, the difference is minuscule, and both tires are simply great off-road. Both of them offer amazing performance on snow as well, and they both are branded with 3 Peak Mountain Snowflake rating. So, what's the wording? Well, when it comes to Wild Peak, the company's three main objectives for winter, wear, and wet performance. That's why they named this tire the 3W. And looks like the tire really achieved that, as this tire with 3 Peak Mountain Snowflake rating gives you amazing performance on snow, the deeper thread allows this tire to last longer, and the two different siping patterns are very efficient in wet conditions. On the other hand, although KO2's on-road traction can get a little better, the tire would never disappoint off-road with its great all-rounder performance. Do tell in the comments which tire do you prefer here. We'd love to hear your thoughts on them. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.